As part of the uh, Dice Band Trials, Henry's are very kindly sponsored uh, a lot of their equipment which we use in everyday the practical realisation of all the technologies and concepts we were introducing at the conference. So, uh, as part of our work with, with uh, Virginia Tech, we had access to Henry Sears equipment for the very first time. Now, in a space of two weeks, we, were, we had a lot of problems to solve, uh, which were very time consuming, and all relied on the ability to both generate signals that you knew that, that were correct, and also uh, debug receiver change, uh, to find out the effect of these uh, signals on, on the spectrum. Uh, the, the tools we, we needed for these, uh, we needed a spectrum analyzer which covered the range, covered, and it also had a very good MATLAB interface. The device on top is, is, is their vector signal generator, which we used to generate signals from MATLAB. Uh, we had very uh, obscure, difficult, complex signals to, to generate, and we did so uh, using the signal generator, which helps us debug our receiver chains and actually get to the stage where we're now we're prototyping these systems, we're uh, demonstrating them during this week. And uh, this device in the bottom, of course, is, is, is the signature spectrum analyzer, which is an excellent MATLAB interface, so you can go directly from a spectrum plot to uh, a MATLAB graph. You can, uh, we, we've uh, connected via network, and we're displaying this information at the conference from a variety of remote sensors. In our two weeks of work in, uh, in Virginia Tech at the time, we were able to complete work which it would have taken us five or six months to uh, do otherwise without this equipment. Since then, we've, we've, uh, we've, we've, we've purchased one of each of these devices and has helped us do a lot of work in terms of like, the, uh, the three important concepts, interoperability, coexistence, and ability to rendezvous and frequency. As, as a good starting point, you need to know exactly what signals you're dealing with and where to expect them. So, uh, and Richard very kindly sponsored all, a lot of the equipment here today, actually most of it. So we've got spectrum, uh, or signature spectrum analyzers throughout the conference venue. We've a number of vector signal generators, which are the demonstrators are using to demonstrate the, the capabilities of their system. On the spectrum analyzer, we were monitoring the, the signals coming from the shared spectrum demo, which is the, the XG radios hopping over frequencies and immediately duplicating these frequencies uh, when the primary user appears. On the signature spectrum analyzer at the moment, we're monitoring some of the signals coming from the shared spectrum of this demonstration. And in this case, they, they have a, a they're, they're generating a primary user which is occupying all of the, which is going between the different licensed channels. And uh, as soon as the signal appears in the channel, the uh, actually the uh, shared spectrum company signal is, is immediately vacating this. So um, we're able to do so. Uh, actually, it's, it's a orthogonal frequency division multiplexing signal, which uh, they're transmitting very very low power. And uh, it's true, the, the capabilities of this analyzer that we're able to, to monitor this. The signal on, on the right hand side is the signal share spectrum company XG demonstration. And at the moment, it's occupying the channel in the demonstration room, it's not detecting any primary uh, signal. But what happens then is that when we try and start transmitting the rest of the demonstrations within the license channels for the Comrec uh, trial license, the XG signal would immediately move off. So in, this is an example of, of a practical case where when you're development, developing these technologies, you need to know exactly what you're dealing with. You need to know what frequencies you are, are, are get detecting these signals and uh, also monitoring how these signals will change over time because our focus is on reconfigurability and uh, using what available spectrum we have. What we're seeing on the screen here on the signature analyzer is uh, a narrow band signal being generated by one of the demonstrators. In this case, it's the signal used by Virginia Tech and uh, CTVR for our interoperability demonstration. What you can see is actually real live information from one of the channels, one of the ice band trial frequencies. One of the concepts being developed at the conference is the ability to make use of available spectrum or white space spectrum in this case. So as you can see, the band is relatively empty. If we if the, uh, uh, the transmission switched off, the band is totally empty. So it's all about, in this scheme, the frequency here in this case is very suitable for non line of sight operation. Quite a wide bandwidth here, which is which is not in use. So by test and trial and deploying new services using this spectrum, we'll be able to then to deploy them in, in target areas worldwide. So with the help of the signature uh, analyzer, we're able to go directly from the capture signal to a MATLAB representation, which means that very quickly, um, we can very easily and quickly take this figure and use it for presentations, generating papers, and also for verifying our signals. 
Um, one of the challenges here is trying to explain what's going on in these frequencies. Uh, that's why we rely very heavily on visualization tools.